he knows Sagittarius, I'm not sure how much patience this person is going to continue to have. Because yes, they have had it in the past. Not sure how long that's going to last though. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, December, going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. Uh, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on a camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Sorry if you can hear that noise, if this is distracting. And if this isn't your story, um, it, as I always say, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes just could be messages through throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because it's ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Sagittarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. Give me one second, whatever side, there we go. Whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up is this being your side. Person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So currently as it stands, there seems to be a lack of clarity um, around this or to do with this relationship in some way, shape or form. There's a lack of clarity. There's a not knowing something or not. Know I feel like it's to do with where this most definitely to do with where this um connection is going or where this relationship is going i feel like the theme is there's a lack of clarity i'm not sure whether this person has a lack of clarity or it's you having that lack of clarity i feel like it's maybe you simply because of how you're showing up this back and forth one minute you decide on one thing next minute you decide on the other but you're coming from a place where you thought you had to was that stand in your power or gain some form of control? Let me just make sure that switch on perfect. Gain some form of control or stand in your power in order for you to communicate something. So there was something around uh, communication. Not sure whether you've already had this communication or you're, or you was aware that you needed to get yourself into a certain place before that communication, before you can communicate. But, and for them, it's like, you know, I've made a decision on this person. And yes, things have not uh, turned into what I would like ASAP or right as it stands currently. But I'm going to hold out. I'm holding on to this I'm, because it's bound to change. Something's bound to come in. They're bound to come to some form of decision about what it is that they're wanting to do. And that's simply because they're wanting that Ten of Pentacles. They're wanting that... Um, exclusive relationship, moving together, marriage, that type of thing, whatever, wherever it stands at the moment, they're wanting to solidify that in some way, shape or form, or, move, or evolve it in some way, shape or form. Like I said, you're showing up as this on and off, hot and cold. And I, I don't think it's, it's indecisiveness, really. It's one minute you think one way, next minute you think another. It's this back and forth, um, energy that you're showing up with Sagittarius but it's quite interesting because you're currently moving to in you're thinking about coming together you're thinking about how is this relationship going to be how do I want it am I going to move ahead with it because you are acknowledging yeah you are acknowledging this I'm not sure whether I'm going to pull on these two I'm not sure whether you're acknowledging it or you're acknowledging it, acknowledge, acknowledging that's what you want. So therefore you're coming out of this. There we go. Or it's a case of 
you acknowledging whether you can actually have this with this person. I'm loving the fact that there's the ten, ten of Pentacles on top of that. So you're definitely thinking about coming together with this person, actually evolving it into something more substantial. Why? Again, I'm not sure for some of you, it's you're acknowledging that you could have an emotional connection with this person. You could have what it is that you're wanting or you're realizing that you actually have that with this person. Let me see if we can shed some light on that. Just one. Yeah, I feel like it's you thinking about, acknowledging that you can potentially, yeah, it's, it's, it's not with the five there. It's you thinking about that and thinking about, is this something that you can actually have with this person? Yeah, you want to pull on that one more time? I'm not sure what that, yeah. Something around this emotional connection. There's something around this for you. Again, it's, it's not ticking, and I say ticking all the boxes, meaning it's not, you're not 100% sure. You're not 100% sure. Well, with this person, they're trying to hold it together, ultimately, Sagittarius. Trying to hold it together, you know, with the strength card. They're trying to pull on their inner strength. They're not comfortable with the situation as it stands, but trying to hold it together with the belief that this is going to, again, this is coming from where they were thinking. I've decided on this person, it's bound to turn around. It's bound to turn around. My ships are bound to come in. They're bound to come to some form of decision and choose uh, me and this relationship ultimately, because what they're ready for is this stability. They want instability with you. You know, they're not wanting this back and forth, on and off, hot and cold type of uh, relationship and I feel like the answers fall in your in your court the balls in your court they're wanting to move ahead you know they're wanting to move ahead now I feel like this person in the past had a bit of more patience than they do now wanting to come to some form of solution so they can ultimately get what it is that they want which is the ten of pentacles and it's not to say that you don't want that too you do it's whether you can have that with this person there's just some unsurety around that for you. You know, so you're choosing, so you're going to choose to hold that to yourself. Not sure what that communication was about, but there's something around you wanting to keep something to yourself, keep it to yourself, um, and take it slow with the page, sorry, with the Knight of Cups there. I just want to pull on that four. Usually at this point, we move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to but I will be implementing that next week guys so look out for that but as it stands still give to this as much as you you can I'm gonna pull on that <laughs> it's like still give to this enough for you to maintain something but again it's you holding back until you're really sure you're gonna be slow moving not sure how much patience this person's gonna have because again like I said they're now thinking about having that stability and actually moving ahead moving forward with this so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm looking forward to, to starting part two, guys, because it feels like it's cut off, you know, and I like to kind of, you know, bring something full circle as much as I can anyway. Um, but other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.